today's Talk Moss Cluster video for the 11th of March 2021 for the Quasi DB service. We'll start with the dollar CAD because this was my trade recommendation to, uh, to short. It's going well. Um, we had a little bit of a worry here, um, but we really should be okay. We're below monthly pivot and we're a seller on the sentiment. Moving average trend should all tick red as well. And once that does, then I'll be a bit more confident. It's got it's rallying a little bit on the uh, M15, M30, but we're sit starting to see weakness on the very small time frames. Hence this. Um, so I think it should be good. Um, below this low, and we'll be in a better place at 125.80, and so we're 125.88 now. So we're only eight pips away. We should break that support, and we'll come down. And this is where I'm going to target 125.14. Uh, that's where my TP is. So we've broken that trend line and we've broken this trend line and they converged at monthly pivot. So SRC below 12564, 12620. Uh, do AJ. So the SLC is quite far. There's your MR1. Uh, 8501, 8406. That's MR1 at 8484. That's easy to remember. 8484. We are a buy. And they are a little bit skewed on my FX book. So uh, be a little bit careful. They are selling it. Uh, by doing so, it should push price up. AU. Signal saying to wait. The sentiment saying to buy. Uh, there's your monthly pivot. So that's definitely key if you're trading this pair. 77.59. And we're one pip above now. We've got this support and we've got this support. This is a uh, prior resistance and now support. So it's a turncoat support. So it was resistance. Now, obviously, we've got that now. If we're above monthly pivot, then that'd be good because this is one of our signals. So uh, we're in nice profits. So I'm, I'm happy. Um, but ideally, we want it above that and then that'd be good. EA. Uh, SSC is far. Oh, one, one five one, eleven seven five eight seven one and one five four seventeen. We're a sell. Sigma cent. Wait. EU. Uh, Lagarde is speaking at a press press conference, and so this is going to be impacting this pair. Obviously, there's your line of interest, which is MS one. At 119.36, we're at 119.39, so we've got support on the monthly um, time frame. As I see above, 119.80, uh, 119.08, and we're probably going to go bearish on all time frames, so we have to be a bit careful. Um, technically, bearish because we're below monthly support, um, monthly pivot, but we have monthly support, so a bit of a tricky one. We're a buy in the sentiment. So, um, GU, we're above monthly pivot, so that's bullish, and we're by here, and SOC above is far away at 140.59, and SOC below 139.19, Kiwi dollar 92.79, it's because it's bright in my room, I, I have to squint to see the screen, 70.94. We're by a signal saying to wait. Could possibly go bearish on all time frames, so um, could be a tricky one. This is one of our signals as well, so we do want this to come up. Moving average is pointing up, so um, and we're by EJ um, 129.99, so 130 and 128.74. Very mixed in the moving average trend, and we're by signal saying to wait. Pound yen, there's your resistance, which I figured would come into play. 15161, it's such a big move, it's humongous. 15181 and 15047. And monthly resistance one could hold, it's quite strong. Dollar yen. One above, 108.89, 108.30, quite close to the, the stops. We're up by here, signal saying to wait. 
the lacad we covered already. This does need to fall. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's your monthly pivot up there. So, yeah. Um, dollar Swiss, 93.50, 92.38. It's your um, trend line break there. So, and the moving average is pointing down to signal center weight, RSL. It was 50-50, if you remember yesterday, and uh, so it flipped over to sell for us. Gold, um, it's a support area from that high. So that was obviously a resistance area, and that's support. So that's how that works. Um, so that level is going to be of interest at 17.23. We are a sell. Moving average trend could potentially go fully bearish. Uh, but there's the one minute strength, so it could be holding on that um, support. I shall see, uh, 17.41 and below, it's right below that wick, 17.17 on the hourly time frame. So it's just below last hour's low. So, um, yeah, that could potentially get tar targeted. And, um, yeah, I'll wrap up now, I think. Covered, uh, well, you know the s and bullish because... Um, <laughs> It can only go up because the retail guys are shorting and fundamental reasons to like the stimulus package and things like that. Um, this would be your next target, 3962. And it will probably do a similar thing that we did in February where we broke above that and then we targeted MR2. But we never got to MR3. So that's going to be tough. I think that's going to be a tough nut to crack. We've still got quite a lot of time left in the month. So um, potentially, I think this is a likely uh, candidate than that one. I think MR2 would be uh, more achievable. It's probably a bit too far. Um, yep, so I'll wrap up now. I hope you have a good day. I'm going to be reporting back with the signals and uh, um, success. Um, so that's cool. And I'll speak to you guys later.